It's moving day in Westchester for the Akers family. The Extreme Makeover team is about to demolish their house and build the home of their dreams. Tanya O'Rourke is at the Akers house following the process, and Tanya, it must be fun to watch. You know, Carol, it really is fun to watch, and what's really interesting today is that it is so seemingly quiet out here. It is quiet on the street. A lot of stuff going on, though. Check it out. There's a big moving van and lots of people and lots of boxes and they are taking all the stuff out of the house and people are watching here but it is very quiet now my colleague deb silverman's been here all day and deb from an outsider's perspective it doesn't look like much has happened today it really doesn't it looks like a typical moving day you know you just can't knock down this house you need to pack up everything and haul it off and as you can see this is taking all day the dry cleaning company shows up around 10 a.m. Workers start emptying the acres closets. Every piece of clothing will get special care. Nicely pressed and cleaned and back in the closets where the, the rooms where the kids are and the, and the parents and all that. Yep. Well, sometimes it's the little things that mean a lot, you know. And then come the moving vans. We're basically trying to do a two-day move in five hours. So we've got probably 12 to 15 guys and uh, just going to pack and load and take a uh, majority of their personal items back to our facilities and store for about 60 days. ABC Extreme Home Makeover producers say once the acres come home to their new and fully furnished house, the family will get to go through their old belongings and decide what they want to keep. The rest will be donated to others who need it. While all this is going on, the Acres are on vacation in San Francisco. The designers of the popular television show say their plan will drastically improve the quality of life for the family. Seven-year-old Brooke has spinal muscular atrophy, a disease that causes muscles to dissolve. So does her sister Faith, who's four. Ten-year-old Christian has Crohn's disease. Brooke's wheelchair that helps her get around at school doesn't even fit in the house. Watching the process in real life is fascinating to fans of the show. It's just so exciting to see like how it all happens, you know, like the inside out. Because when you watch it on the show, you don't really realize how much time is put into cleaning out the house and all the little inside outs of it. Now I just showed you what you can see from the front of the house, but boy, there's even more going on in the back, and we're going to show you more of that coming up later on in the newscast. Really, like the, as a neighbor had just said, it really surprises people how much time it takes to get all this going. I can't imagine if someone had to take every single thing out of my house. Would not enjoy that at all. Big thanks. job. It is a big job. Deb, thanks a lot. And also coming up at 5.30, there are still some chances if you want to volunteer to be part of this, there are still some chances for you to do that. We're going to tell you about that. And then, Carol, also coming up at 6 o'clock, I'm going to talk to you about how you can come out here, when the best times are to come out over the next few days. So stay tuned. Back to you. Oh, that's great, Tanya. A lot of people have been asking about that. Stay with 9 News and WCPO.com for complete coverage of the extreme home makeover in Westchester.